as pioneers of this technology for storytelling here in Tanzania, what we want to do mostly is be able to not just introduce it into the market, but to also to test it, to play around with it, to find and contextualize it for the market that's around, uh, not just here in Tanzania, but in East Africa as a whole. This event shows the innovation that is happening around Tanzania within the media landscape. It's important for us to showcase what they're doing, their impact, what their ideas are about, and what really is the value that they bring to the ecosystem for media. This has helped us to showcase all that we have been doing in a year, in transforming what we, ha we once had as a dream, but now existing as a company, in transforming medical information into simpler, entertaining, and innovative solution that delivers medical knowledge to the general population. Space in which we can we can share uh, uh, experiences, we can swap notes, and be able to know that hey, there's somebody out there that I can also reach out to in case I have trouble, or there's somebody out there that even I can partner with um, for different projects. It's very important that all the creativity that we can find in a country like Tanzania is actually shown to other people, other innovators, but also potential donors, because there is so much potential here in finding new and innovative solutions that uh, it's important that people who have money who can invest in these ideas and make sure that they actually are implemented and change things in society you know that they have the opportunity to see this. Bringing Tanzanians uh, this new technology kind of paving a path for these new technologies is something that we see is building community, is building commerce and we're changing the conventions for virtual reality and augmented reality. These new technologies are not just used by those people who just want to make money, who just want to use this to uh, influence society in a bad way. It's important that journalists, that media, also other innovators want to use this technology to do something good and to make sure that you know, free societies can develop. What I hope is that some of these innovators that we are supporting will, uh, in a few years, uh, make a breakthrough in the, um, in the market, that they will actually have sustainable uh, business models, uh, that their developments will be used by local companies and maybe also beyond, also in the region or maybe all over Africa or around the world. And uh, they're probably not all going to make it, but some of them I hope will make it. And the other thing is that this, this new dynamic generation of, of young developers, innovators and also media people, that they will actually shape Tanzania in a way that there will be you know, more freedom, better access to information for all. Our hope and our dream essentially is to pr create a playground, an experimentation space, often with new technologies and often with new concepts. Um, especially in Africa, we are required to uh, provide proof of concept, but we don't want to create that kind of pressure um, for our creators for innovation. We understand that um, innovation needs reiteration and reiteration and, and reiteration. So there should be space for people to be able to come and figure out what that technology means to them and also how that can work and how we can work for them as well. So that they're not just uh, uh, going with the trend as it were, but looking for actual solutions uh, um, with it, using that technology to their own problems. So what we hope for the future is to create a brand that will be known locally and internationally for disseminating the correct medical information in an innovative solution. That is, medical journalism is an area that has been less tapped by majority, so we hope to to advance further in tapping all the areas that have been left behind in all innovation sectors. We can make more media innovators happen. I wish for uh, East Africa that has at least 100, 200, 300 media innovators with impactful businesses that actually make a difference in the society. My hope for the future with an event like this uh, is to bring different people here at our home uh, in Honor Stories, but to replicate this beyond uh, my house here, Honor Stories, I want this to be replicated uh, throughout all the different industries. Because uh, typically in innovation, people are working in silos, they're working on their own. But when you bring people together and you ask yourselves questions, when you start to consider what the problems might be within community, that's where you find solutions.